Um, those are here for the very first time. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to uh, eight weeks on It's Your Money. And we're going to talk a lot about your money. We're not going to talk about my money. We're going to talk about your money. <laughs> uh, when you come to a program like this, this is in the Suzy Q. We're sponsored by charitable organizations. What should be the first thing that's going through your mind right now? Who's going to pay you? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's in it for me, right? What am I trying to sell? And I'm not doing this because I'm Mother Teresa. So uh, uh, let's talk about that first. First of all, have any of you attended, quote unquote, an educational uh, program on money. And what were they trying to sell? Something. Something. Financial services. Financial services? Uh, not a particular product, like an annuity or something like that? Uh, it was a large brokerage house that put the class. They're selling you a, some kind of financial product. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, I used to, for employees, I would have ICMARC come out and do basic seminars, and they, even though they have certified financial planners, are not allowed and cannot sell you anything. Not at that session? Not ever. ever? Really? Well, that's good. Usually that's not usually the requirement. Usually the requirement is just not at the session. Not to get to my employer. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. We don't usually have that. Um, that's what usually happens. 95 to 99 percent of the programs on money is there somebody's trying to sell you something. I have no problem with somebody trying to sell you their services, but I do have a problem with selling a product, and we'll get more into that as we go along. But one of the first questions is as to how am I compensated and why am I doing this? Um, Number one reason for me doing this kind of a program was I was hired in by Long Beach State University and to be their plan giving director. And with no budget and or anything else, I was told to go out and sell the idea of a plan gift. You know what a plan gift is? It's like a charitable remainder trust, a charitable gift annuity. It's to give back to the university through your will or through your trust. And so uh, when you start at the state university system, probably um, that's why everybody were completely in the red. You have immense amount of benefits. I had like four different kind of medical programs that I could uh, subscribe to. I had a hundred companies that I could invest with as far as my 403B program. I had a stack about yay high sitting on my desk the first day I started. And so I started going through that and I go, wow, this is really nice. And so I started asking other employees what they had done and why. And also asked professors. Many of the professors had financial advisors. What do you think the number one reason is these professors, PhDs, etc., chose the financial advisor that they have, had, or have? Make more money. Nope. Education for Nope. No, recommended by a friend, but the number one thing is, gosh, the person is such a nice guy. <laughs> number one reason, nice. And so consequently, after looking at some of these portfolios that these nice financial advisors had put together for faculty and staff, I found out that basically they were fleecing them. Uh, annuities, variable annuities, indexed annuities, and retirement plans. One of the reasons for annuities sometimes for people is one of the valid reasons is, is, is that it's tax deferred. It, it doesn't bring immediate income into you. And so we started doing this program uh, called It's Your Money because every single time I was talking to a professor, I said, don't you care? It's your money. 
That's how we got the title. <laughs> it was very simple. And so anyway, for make a, a very long story shorter, um, I moved over to the American Red Cross and I tried to bring out this program here in the community and we expanded it to eight weeks and we brought in a lot of charitable groups. So one of the reasons why I do this program is I am paid by the charitable organizations to do this program, okay? There is no requirement on my part though to make each one of you make a donation to a charity. All I'm doing is hopefully educating you. That's why I'm being paid. Now, why do you think the charities want to be a sponsor of a program called It's Your Money? Because we're old and they want our estates. They want your money. <laughs> you know, in order to carry out a mission of a charitable organization. Can they do it on goodwill? No, they need money. But let's go one step further. Do you know anyone who doesn't want your money? Kids, do they want your money? <laughs> Neighbors? Churches? Temples? Okay, so the basic fact of life is that everybody wants your money. It's a basic rule, right? Does anybody disagree with that? Yeah, well that's kind of the way I, the conclusion I came to. And so I thought to myself, well, if I just want to educate, how can I make clear that that education takes place knowing that everybody wants the money? Well, in your packet, there's a schedule, and I think it is the, yes, the second page on the left-hand side. Looks like this. In fact, the Laguna Beach Suzy Q Center schedule is on the back on the bottom. And so here we're going to do today introduction and quiz, and it has my name right after it. So yeah, this is the schedule. We conduct this program throughout Orange County. Yeah, and that's for the Laguna Beach. Um, we basically said, hey look, if we're gonna put this program on, to get, uh, on and we want it to be purely educational, what kind of rules do we want? Well, the first rule is right on top. No commercial or for-profit sponsors. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of paper, don't we? Here it is, right there. So, uh, two or three years ago, um, I had Smith Barney come up to me and offer me $10,000 to be a sponsor of this program. I immediately said yes. The, I guarantee you the charities don't pay me that much. <laughs> Um, luckily, it was after a workshop series, and so I had a little bit of time to think about it. But if I were to have Smith Barney as a sponsor, what would happen? Smith Barney. Well, you'd get the call the next day. Say, how did you enjoy the workshop? Hey, would you like to come in for a cup of coffee? Can I take you out to dinner? Can I show you some of the products that we have? Can I show you some of the financial services that we offer? You know, that's the, because it's a cost benefit analysis, clear and through. They're not going to spend $10,000 on this workshop without getting a return. For example, but aren't they nice? Oh, they're wonderful. <laughs> they're wonderful. Uh, let's do a typical lunch seminar, let's make it a dinner seminar. Let's make it at the montage. Uh, average person, what would be the cost? About $200 at the montage for yeah. simple dinner and a glass of water? <laughs> uh, let's say we have 50 people there. So what's 50 times 200, somebody? 10,000, is that right? Yeah. Okay, $10,000. That seems like a lot of money. 
An indexed annuity is one of the hottest products today. And the reason for that is, is everybody's scared of uh, the market. And so they tell you uh, in the sales pitch of an indexed annuity, you're going to get all the gains of, a mar of the market. And when the market goes down, we'll take the losses. And people love that. Wow. Security. It's not really true, but <laughs> that's the story. And usually out of a group of 50, there's about 10% or 15 or 20 percent, somewhere around there, who will buy that story and purchase an uh, indexed annuity. Average indexed annuity is about 100,000 investment. What do you think the commission is on an indexed annuity? 15 percent. 15 percent. So that's 15,000. So let's say 10, let's say 10 people, let's say, what is it, what we say 50 people, five people, Five, five times 15,000 is what? Huh? 75. Cost me 10,000, I'm getting $65,000 worth of profit. And this is a conservative scenario. These lunch seminars, free dinners work, and they're all over. 99% of all programs are selling something. Been to a timeshare sales pitch? Oh, yeah. It's the same thing, okay? Be careful. Can't even give them away today. Okay, so number one rule is there's no commercial or for-profit sponsors, just charities. Uh, by the way, of uh, those who have been here before, have you ever been called by a charity or by anyone? No. Nope. Yeah. So hopefully you can relax. You're not going to get a call. Um, two. No speaker is going to receive your uh, name, address, or phone number. It is going to be your responsibility if you want to contact the speaker. We're going to have each speaker go through and, and hand out their Ask First form. I handed you my Ask First form. And we're going to go through it after a little bit. My bio is on one side, the ask first is on the other, and we'll explain it a little bit more as we go through. But you will have that information. We will talk about how they get paid, how they run their practice. And the control is in your hands whether or not you want to contact them. So that's another rule that we made. The third one is that we are not going to even have a speaker here who can sell products. So we will not have an insurance speaker on insurance. We will not have a broker here that has a license to sell. And hi, Kirk. Kirk is one of those financial advisors. Oh. <laughs> we'll talk a little bit more about him. Um, so, uh, so we won't even, they won't even be here. And we'll figure out a way because one of our, one of our goals is to figure out how to find an ethical and competent financial advisor. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But there's not going to be anybody here who can sell products. Okay, and then the last but not least is no charity will solicit you for a donation. We're going to wait until you get to the garage and not let you leave until you, no. <laughs> Nobody's going to ask you for a donation for anything. Um, what's our mission? What are we trying to accomplish here through the program? Well, the reason why charities pay me is because I promised them I would make you into Warren Buffett's. Yeah. What did Warren Buffett do? Besides being totally wealthy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you have to really believe and be secure in order to give away your money. Whether it's to your children, whether it's to a charity, even whether or not to, to, uh, to give it to the spouse. You know, what's the number one reason for divorce? Money. Money. <laughs> Bird, how many times have you been married? No. 